Hey Tarot Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I wanted to do another tarot tip video for you guys. Um, so this is just a series of little little tidbits and quips and tips about um, reading the tarot. Um, I've done a mini series on found tarot spreads, which are ways to just pick up your deck, look through it, and uh, do a little mini reading for yourself. So if you're interested in that, um, definitely go back to my YouTube channel page and look for the tarot tips um, playlist and you can find all of those in there. But today's video is going to be about the shadow card. Um, so this is um, a technique that some people use, some people don't. As with all of my videos, you know, take what works for you, leave the rest behind. Um, if this resonates with you, awesome. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Um, so what the shadow card is, is anytime you're conducting a reading, whether it's for yourself or for a client, um, you can always garner a little bit of information about what's going on subconsciously or beneath the surface if you look at the card on the bottom of the deck. So I've got my, um, my handy dandy giant tarot of AE weight with me today for demonstration purposes. <laughs> um, so, you know, if you're conducting a reading and you've dealt out your um, spread from your deck, right, from the, usually from the top, some spreads will require you to draw cards from the bottom for underlying energy, and that's okay too. You can still get a little bit of extra information about the underlying energies and about, you know, the subconscious sort of things going on with your client or with yourself if you just simply turn your deck over and look at the card that is on the very bottom of the deck. Now, for example, if I was doing a reading and I drew the full card and used that as my underlying card uh, in my, my spread, I would treat that as the predominant underlying energy, but I could get some information um, and some clarity about the full card just by looking at, you know, the card that was left on the bottom of the deck. In this case, it would be the magician. Um, so anytime you're conducting a reading in any way, shape or form, you know, you can always take a peek at the card at the very bottom of your deck to try to try to get some extra, um, insight into those, you know, those moon card, um, type of energies to see kind of really what's going on beneath the surface. And I've been doing this in both professional and personal readings now for well over a year and it's never, <laughs> it's never not resonated for me personally. Um, and it works really well. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys, uh, check out the bottom of your deck a little bit more often, see what's lurking in the shadows, see what's kind of, um, sitting beneath the surface or in your subconscious. Remember, when we talk about the shadows, we're not talking about negative things per se. We're just talking about things that aren't in the light, things that aren't as obvious, things that um, maybe external influences that uh, don't seem to be as predominant, right? So these are just little little things that are, are pulling at you in different directions, and it's always good to have an understanding of what those are. Um, so I hope you found this little video interesting and intriguing. I hope you uh, check out the shadow card and a few of uh, your upcoming tarot readings. And as always, remember, everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So be kind, always. Bye, guys.